yeah, I felt in the first, you know, 20, 25 minutes of the first half, we were, we were absolutely excellent. Um, controlled a, a lot of the game, really, and, uh, you know, it was a brilliant opening goal, obviously, from, from Allen and Greg Cross and Callum Robinson. Good team goal. Then Serbia sort of um, tactically changed, like a little bit. The both of their tens, Tadic and that came right into midfield. They were overloading, creating two v ones in the midfield, and so they dominated possession and forced us back a bit. But they weren't really creating any chances, and I think um, that was a, you know, that was a, an issue. We didn't, we weren't really under threat apart from set players which were, because we were giving away inches on, every player was giving away a few inches on set plays. Um, but then to concede the goal, that was really their first chance. Serbia, um, Vlavic put it away well. We're disappointed with that one. Um, you know, obviously we look, like we've had a blatant penalty rejected. Absolutely, we've watched it back and Aaron's, Aaron's touched the ball away and the players, um, Fouled him, you know. Mitrovic the centre back has fouled him. Um, that's a that's a that's a penalty to go two one up, and we're not losing the game at two one up in the second half. That's for sure. You know, we're not saying we definitely would have won it, but I don't see us losing it. Um, and uh, so that that's a very pivotal moment in in the game. The concession, the second goal is a disappointing goal. We know that. And then the third goal, we're wondering how we're 3 1 down, but we, we, um, all of the subs come on. I felt all the subs just made an impact. Obviously, James Collins got the goal back, and it's a, it's a late rally for the equaliser, which, which we don't quite get. But it's, it's, uh, I think we're just disappointed to lose the game, really. And, uh, the Horts, you know, I think uh, Serbia are a very good team. You know, have a lot of very good attacking players. Um, but we feel that we're disappointed to lose. Were you able to talk to the referee afterwards about that decision? Not really, you know. Not really. A lot of the younger players had real strong performances. Jason Malumbi coming off after an hour... What was the reasoning behind that? Was it fitness related or did you just feel he needed a change? Yeah, he's, <clears throat> he's not been a regular and depressing team for a while. He's been in and out. And, um, you know, I thought Jason was excellent. Um, <clears throat> he's just running out of steam, to be honest. You know, just running out of steam. And um, so we, we, Jeff, Jeff gave us fresh legs at that period. Which I felt would be important, but I think um, you know Jason and Josh did very well. It must be said, alongside Alan, Alan Brown in the midfield overall, they they performed it very well. Okay, Gav Gavin Cooney, please. Uh, yeah, hi Stephen. Uh, congratulations on the result. Was it ultimately a case that you were beaten by the better team? Is that your, that's your opinion? Is that what you feel, is it, Kevin? Right, so I'm asking you if that's how you feel. Um, well, I think it was, on, you know, on the night it was quite an evenly balanced game overall. I felt, um, in the second half, you know, before we conceded that second goal, um, you know, we had... And quite a few attacks, and obviously Matt Doherty overlapped on the right and pulled one back across the goal. The other one, Aaron Connolly, just uh, obviously was fouled and uh, not given. And we had we had a quite a bit of positive play. Um, so it was Serbia are an excellent team. I'm not trying to say they're not; they are an excellent team. Um, and if you ask them, are they better than us? They're forging their development for sure. With the attack and with the advent of all their attacking players, but on the night there wasn't much in the game, and um, obviously the second goal was was crucial overall. And um, 
so that was that was uh, that, that was it. Mm. Up to now, Stephen, you've obviously been robbed of any kind of consistency of selection. But that uh, system that you play tonight, does that give you something that you can use again and build on against Luxembourg on Saturday? Well, we've got to consider. I think every every game. I think we learn. We we do have to be tactically flexible that we can change our system, and uh, you know we do have to be tactically tactically flexible. It depends what players are available to you as well, and the team that you're playing against. So we have to consider all of those options, and uh, definitely with the front two: Callum Robinson, Aaron Connolly, with Alan Brown, um, supporting that we look like a goal threat, and look like. Three of them are capable of scoring goals, and um, and that's what we felt today. Uh, okay, go have on, please. Hey, Stephen. Obviously, you said the second goal was the crucial goal. What could you have done better as a team and individually to to have prevented it? Uh, uh, well, listen. You know, it is what it is. We conceded a goal, like a, a you know, I think. Um, it's from our own kick out. We've conceded from our own kick out, so we're, we're disappointed with that. You mentioned the change of tactics. How do you think the three at the back and the wing back system worked tonight? Were you pleased with it? Yeah. Listen, we're disappointed. We lost the game, so we can't. I don't want to sort of say, but overall, I thought it worked quite well. Um, and um, James Coleman. Brilliant at the back, really. Marshall's defence really well. Played really well, Seamus did. And, uh, you know, the midfield were brave. Josh Cullen and Jason Lumby were taking the ball in very, very tight areas on the half turn. Comfortable doing that. And um, Alan Browns obviously makes brilliant runs and he's getting, uh, you know, the front three, him, him behind the... the the front two, they were, they were a threat all night. You would feel, um, you know, that's not to say that. So it, it is something that we we, we have to, uh, you know, we I know it does. It does suit our play. Well, Kieran Clark being available for really for for the first time for us gives us a balance on the left side of the defence. So that that helps having a left footed player in the back three. You see, Serbia have Pavel. Pavlovich, who's similarly a left-footed player in the back three, and that does that does help when you're playing the back three sometimes, and uh, so that was uh, that helps you make a decision on that. Thanks, Stephen. Okay, Thank and we, we've just got time for one more from Damien for Stephen, then we'll move on to Alan. Hey, Stephen. Um, Stephen, it was a tough night for a 21-year-old goalkeeper. What can you say to, to Mark Chavez after a night like that? Um, well, Mark is Mark's an excellent young goalkeeper. You know, he's he's a really a really good goalkeeper. Not been not been playing recently, obviously, at Bournemouth, but he's a great future ahead of him. And uh, you know, he couldn't have really done anything about the first or third goals. And um, so overall. Um, you know, he, he uh, I think Mark has a really bright future ahead of him. Thanks, 